In a remarkable archaeological breakthrough, a colossal prehistoric megastructure has been unearthed in Montana, USA. Known as the Sage Wall, this ancient construction is believed to date back thousands of years, shedding new light on early human civilizations in North America. The discovery of such an intricate and massive structure raises numerous questions about the capabilities and social organizations of its builders. What secrets lie within the Sage Wall waiting to be uncovered? This intriguing find promises to revolutionize our understanding of prehistoric societies. In the remote mountainous wilderness of Montana, USA, an astonishing structure has emerged from obscurity, captivating archaeologists and historians alike. Known as the Sage Wall, this monumental prehistoric edifice is composed of immense polygonal granite stone blocks, meticulously stacked and aligned in an impeccably straight line, extending up to 275 feet in length. Researchers believe the structure extends further underground, with its height reaching approximately 25 feet, and estimates suggest an additional 15 feet of the wall remain buried, making its total height around 40 feet when fully excavated. The most striking feature of the Sage Wall is its construction. The granite blocks, some weighing as much as 91 tons, appear to have been cut, stacked, and interlocked like pieces of a giant puzzle. This intricate arrangement, characterized by straight lines and angular formations, distinguishes it from the typical natural geological formations of the region. Granite, known for not splitting into 90-degree corners naturally, has been precisely manipulated here, suggesting advanced stoneworking skills by its creators. The Sage Wall's discovery is a story of serendipity. For years, the structure lay hidden beneath a dense canopy of fallen trees and thick foliage on private land. The wall remained unknown to the scientific community until the landowners decided to clear a portion of their heavily forested property. As they removed the fallen trees and underbrush, the monumental wall was revealed, sparking curiosity and further investigation. The Sage Wall bears a striking resemblance to ancient polygonal masonry found in various parts of the world, such as megalithic walls in Peru, Egypt, Turkey, Greece, Easter Island, and Japan. This similarity raises intriguing questions. Could the Sage Wall be one of the many prehistoric megalithic sites destroyed by an ancient cataclysm? Such theories are often dismissed, but the wall's perfect straight lines challenge the notion of it being a mere natural formation. One of the common features of megalithic stone walls worldwide is the presence of mysterious knobs on the stone surfaces. These knobs are found in sites from Peru to Egypt, India, China, and beyond, yet their purpose remains unknown. Interestingly, similar knobs on the Sage Wall were noted. This discovery strengthens the argument that the Sage Wall might be a man-made structure, as these knobs' presence on naturally formed stone is highly unlikely. The area is dotted with large channels and additional walls, all constructed from tightly fitted and perfectly cut stone blocks aligned in straight lines. This suggests that the Sage Wall might be part of a larger prehistoric complex, now largely collapsed and eroded. Stones were documented with artificial modifications, including one resembling a granite piece from Karnak, Egypt, featuring a square cut, a channel, and a circle, albeit eroded. Smooth, straight shoots flowed down the mountainside, resembling polished concrete and potentially used as water channels. Numerous stones with round cavities known as cup marks or cupules are scattered throughout the site. These cup marks, among the oldest forms of rock art, have been found worldwide and are hypothesized to have been used for grinding or processing food and materials. As interest in the Sage Wall grew, the landowners organized a team of scientists, geologists, and archaeologists to study the site. Utilizing ground-penetrating radar, magnetic susceptibility testing, soil sample testing, and future plans for LIDAR, the initial studies have revealed fascinating insights. One surprising discovery was the remarkable level of magnetism exhibited by the granite blocks. Magnets stick to the vertical walls, indicating an unusually high magnetic pull for granite. Ground-penetrating radar revealed that the wall continues 15 feet below the ground, with a perfectly flat foundation in front of it, highly unlikely to be natural. The site also attracted the attention of Dr. Samir Osmanagic, known for his discovery of the Bosnian Pyramid. Dr. Osmanagic concluded that the site is most likely man-made, and noted that the wall is perfectly oriented to face the winter solstice. 
This alignment with astronomical events is a common feature of many ancient megalithic sites, further supporting the theory of the Sage Wall being a deliberate construction by an ancient civilization. As scientific investigations continue, the wall's secrets slowly unfold, promising to revolutionize our knowledge of ancient North American societies. What more will we learn from this monumental structure? The answers lie buried within the Sage Wall, still waiting to be discovered. The Sage Wall in Montana presents a fascinating mystery. Due to its precise alignment and possible ancient origins, during the summer solstice, the wall points southeast, and in the winter, it points northwest, aligning it with the winter solstice. This careful orientation suggests an intentional design by its builders, highlighting their advanced understanding of astronomy. The Sage Wall was likely constructed before the end of the last ice age, approximately 11,700 years ago. The wall's heaviest stone weighs about 91 tons, indicating the use of advanced technology lost over millennia. Examining a pre-younger Dryas glacial map of North America reveals the wall's strategic importance. Located on the migration route between Asia and North America, it sits where sea levels were once low enough to form a land bridge, facilitating early human migration. The wall's position between the Cordilleran and Laurentide ice sheets places it at a critical junction, flanked by three major rivers leading to different oceans. This made it a prime location for early human settlement and resource distribution. The area around the Sage Wall is rich in mineral deposits, including the largest quartz crystal found in Montana, which is now displayed in the Mineral Museum at the Montana Bureau of Mines and Geology in Butte. The Sage Wall's survival through the cataclysmic events of the Younger Dryas period is astonishing. The Missoula Floods, a series of glacial outburst floods, would have swept through the area at speeds up to 80 miles per hour, with floodwaters reaching heights of 400 feet. Despite these devastating events, the wall remains intact, suggesting it was constructed with remarkable resilience. One theory posits that the sediment buildup along the wall resulted from these floods. This accumulation might explain some of the wall's current features. If the Sage Wall indeed dates back to this period, it implies the presence of more megalithic sites in the area, potentially revealing a network of ancient structures. Supporting this idea, several intriguing sites near the Sage Wall have been identified, including the Tizer Dolmen. This supposed dolmen, located in a remote area without cell phone coverage, consists of large flat stones arranged in a table-like formation. The structure features a massive horizontal capstone resting on vertical stones, forming a small chamber beneath, closely resembling other ancient dolmens found worldwide. Granite typically fractures horizontally due to sedimentation processes. However, the stones at the Tizer Dolmen break vertically, suggesting they were moved and reoriented to create the structure, indicating human intervention. This implies the stones were initially part of a horizontal sedimentation process before being repositioned to form the dolmen. Despite compelling evidence for human construction, some experts argue that the Sage Wall is a natural formation. Timothy Alvarino noted that the fissures on the wall follow natural paths, starting from the base and extending to the top. He highlighted the absence of cultural artifacts, such as tools or pottery, which would typically indicate human activity, supporting the natural formation theory. The Sage Wall has intriguing features suggesting it was constructed by intelligent hands. The wall aligns with the winter solstice, implying advanced astronomical knowledge. Additionally, the heaviest stone in the wall weighs 91 tons, indicating that the builders possess sophisticated technology now lost to history. In contrast, some argue that the Sage Wall is a natural formation. Analysis shows that the crevices in the wall follow natural paths from the base to the top, suggesting geological rather than human activity. If the wall were man-made, the blocks would be offset and staggered for structural integrity rather than aligned in a straight path. This argument is bolstered by the absence of cultural artifacts such as tools or pottery, which are typically found at human construction sites. Support for the natural formation theory includes explaining the presence of knobs on the rocks. These knobs form naturally when softer parts of the rock erode faster than the harder sections, leaving behind more resistant materials as protruding knobs. This geological process aligns with the region's history of intense volcanic and tectonic activities, gradually reshaping and defining the wall's current structure to create the appearance of a constructed wall. 
Various features around the wall suggest human intervention. Numerous holes, strange linear marks, large scoop marks on the stone, and a variety of knobs have been identified. One nearby structure, the Tizer Dolmen, is composed of large flat stones arranged in a table-like formation, with a massive horizontal capstone supported by vertical stones. Observers have noted that the stones at the Tizer Dolmen break vertically, which is unusual for natural processes. This suggests that the stones were originally part of a horizontal sedimentation process before being reoriented to form the dolmen. Despite these findings, the debate over the sage wall's origins continues. The natural formation theory posits that the wall was created through the natural volcanic and tectonic activities with the intense geological forces causing the rock to crack and split. Over time, these natural processes would have shaped the wall's current structure. The presence of knobs on the rocks supports this theory, as they are formed when the softer parts of the rock erode faster than the harder sections. In conclusion, the true origins of the Sage Wall in Montana remain uncertain. While there is compelling evidence supporting both man-made and natural formation theories, definitive proof is lacking. What is undeniable is that the Sage Wall is a remarkable site, worth visiting for its historical and geological significance. Whether a prehistoric megastructure or a natural wonder, the Sage Wall continues to captivate researchers and visitors alike. Its enigmatic presence challenges our understanding of history and nature, and its allure encourages ongoing exploration, fostering a deep appreciation of Montana's rich and mysterious past. Thanks for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating archaeological insights and historical revelations. And stay tuned for more updates from us. Thank you for watching.